Hello everyone, good um good afternoon, and I hope you are doing very well. Richard Obian Smith is my name, and today I'm in your homes and offices and everywhere you find yourself to share fantastic information with you. I am very confident the information I've got to share with you today will be very useful so far as your future career and educational goals are really concerned. So for the next 30 minutes to um, one hour, I'm here to engage you and share fantastic information with you. I think, um, first of all, I want to apologize to all clients and potential ones for not being able to um, run this program on Saturday as we have already advertised. I'm sorry for that. It happened as a result of um, electrical challenge and therefore we couldn't do anything about it. We are trying as much as possible to engage you this afternoon to share with you why you must consider UK education and the pitfalls to avoid so far as international education is concerned, particularly UK at this present moment. My name is Richard Obiasmi. I work as a CEO of this great company and I've been working in this company for the past 10 years been working with students going to study in the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, France, Germany, Australia, and Japan, and many other parts of the world. Our students have sent more than 500 students who have come out as doctors, pharmacists, engineers, farmers, businessmen, and all kinds of professions. I'm happy to say by the grace of God, our graduates or students who have passed through our company are really making impact. We are company focused on both the middle class, the lower class, and also those in the middle belt. I'm happy to share this fantastic information with you. And those of you who are here on Facebook or on Zoom, if you could share the link with your friends and your loved ones, wherever they are, I'll be very grateful. I want to take this opportunity to encourage you to share this uh, presentation with your friends on Facebook, and on all other platforms, I'm waiting for you to share so that our friends and our loved ones and other platforms can also enjoy this fantastic presentation. Because the information I'm here to share, not many people will have access to it. So if you have access to it, all that you need to do is to share it on your profile, share it on your WhatsApp, on your LinkedIn, on your Twitter, and all your social media outlets so that your friends will also benefit from it. It is important that we, we create awareness. We show people the right way, the pathway that will lead them to success. So please, I'm happy to engage you this particular day. And I'm very confident that the information I'm going to share with you will be fantastic. All right, as I said, Richard Obias is my name, and I work in the company as a CEO. Astolink started as an agriculture travel organization from a university campus and registered in 2006. And so far, I can tell you, we are enjoying about 16 years in operation, 16 years in operation. So we are a great company with over 30 staff. We've got offices in Accra, Takradi, in Kumasi. We've got fantastic partners in Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, UK, USA, Canada, Japan, France, Germany. And we work with very strong educational institutions with excellent reputation in teaching and research all over the world. I'm happy to engage you today. And I look forward to see you, that you also become our client within the next few days. Now, I am here purposely to give education. I'm here purposely to give education. I want to create um, an information to people. I want people to understand. I want people to be responsible that travel to any country it just by document and doing the writing it is not by luck no i don't believe in luck. it is about paperwork i want to give a small background information about me when i completed secondary school i wanted to go to university in the united states i applied for visa twice and i was denied a visa and i thought it was 
maybe something in my family that didn't want me, blah, blah, blah. But later on, I got to know that it was basically due to my ignorance and poor documentation from my side. And then from there, I, I realized the need for me to actually continue, my, the need for me to know the right thing to do, I am back on it. And that actually also landed me into this education industry where now I work helping people to study and work abroad. So if you have started making arrangement to travel and you have been denied a visa once or twice, it is not in it. Don't worry, don't, don't, don't curse yourself, don't say two negative things. What I'm gonna share with you, if only you are ready to um, practice them and engage, engage with these steps, I'm very sure that you are going to be useful. And anything that you want to do, so far as international travel, education travel is concerned, is going to materialize. So let's go. Why must you consider, why must you consider UK education now? Why? There are so many countries. We've got Australia, we've got Canada, we've got New Zealand, United States, France, Germany, Asia countries like China and the rest. Why must you consider studying in the UK now? The first one I want to share is that you will gain world-class qualification that is globally recognized. So UK universities have excellent reputation in teaching and research. This means that if you have the opportunity to study in such a great country, the certificate that you gain is recognized all over the world as UK is noted to have a top-notch study qualification. Apart from this, educational institutions in UK are endowed with teaching and learning materials teaching and learning resources. And this is what gives the student the winning edge. You will gain hands-on experience. And these moments, every employer is looking for people with working experience. And that is why I want to encourage you that you consider UK for that. Fantastic. Let's continue. Why must you consider UK education now? opportunity to work part-time. So if you're a student going to study in any country, you have to ask yourself, can I work part-time? When I'm studying, there are some countries, even if you pay all your fees and you enter the country, you are not allowed to work part-time. So ask yourself, can I work part-time? And in the UK, yes, international students are allowed to work part-time 20 hours a week. A minimum wage, which is if you work one hour in UK, it's about 11, eight pounds, 30 pence, around eight to nine pounds. So you every hour you earn eight pounds. Today, a pound rate is eight cities. So eight times eight at 56. So if you are going to work in the UK, every one hour you'll be earning 56 to 57 Ghana cities. And then you can work full time on holidays. So once you are not uh, you're on holidays, you are allowed to work full time to make money. I'm happy to tell you that I've got students in the UK who are working part-time on holidays and full-time on working part-time during school session and, and full-time during holidays, and it's better for them. I keep saying if you're on Facebook, social media handles, can we please all share this information and get our friends to enjoy it? Now, those who complete their degree in UK, whether you have HND and you're going to do a top-up or you're going to do a master's for one year or two years, when you graduate from any public or recognized UK university or higher education, as soon as you graduate, you'll be given two, two year to study work permit to stay in the UK for two solid years to work so that you can make money to repay the loan you took or the money you spent in educating yourself and also gain work experience, which will go a long way to boost your CV and your chances of getting employment all over the world. I had a chance to teach in the UK and I'm, on, I'm proud to tell you that the few years I had the opportunity to teach in a public secondary school in the UK has given me a lot of winning edge. And I want to encourage the ones who study in the UK and you graduate, look for opportunity to work in the UK and at least gain some work experience where those employers can be your references and wherever you take your, your certificate to, to look for employment, it will give you the winning edge. If you're going to do a PhD, your wife and your children 
or if you're going to do a PhD, I want to say that you will also be given three year post study work permit. If you are going to do a PhD, you'll be given three year post study work permit. Now, if you are married, if you are married and you have children and you are going to study in the UK, I'm happy to inform you that your spouse can work full time to support you. So you can send your spouse to the UK and they can work full time to support you. Whilst your kids below 18 years can also study free in a public school. So if you have children below 18 years and you find a primary school, kindergarten, or a secondary school for them, I'm happy to tell you that they can study for free without paying anything. That is fantastic. Now, another good thing which I recommend you to consider if you want to study abroad is UK is that in UK, you can pay deposit of your fees and the rest could be paid in installment. The universities we work with and most UK universities allow international students to pay their tuition fees in installment. And to us, that is beautiful and that is fantastic for international students like you and I. So these are the reason why I will recommend UK for you to study at the moment. Now I want us to look at pitfalls to avoid. If you want to study in UK, what must you avoid? There are things, so many things you must avoid. And once you get to know this, it will help you in a long way to secure your future and help you to live a victorious life. Number one, what must you avoid? The pitfall you must avoid, the hole you must avoid. Number one, avoid the use of quack agents because they can destroy your future travel opportunities. Be careful who you consider as your travel agent or your study abroad agent because they can help you to get admission and even visa, but a long way it will affect you. Why am I saying this? If the agent doesn't have information, current information, they are not updated, they are not well informed, they can get any school for you and, and do the process for you, get a visa, but at the end of the day, you will going to be disappointed. So avoid the use of quack agent. If somebody is going to work for you, find out, you are a graduate, be very insightful. Look for their background, check. Have they done it for some people before? That's number one. Are they registered? Do they have an office? Do they really understand the process? Do they have affiliation with the university? What is their level of expertise? So far as the process you are going to sign up is concerned, don't just be in a haste to accept anybody. Why? Because it's not just about getting admission. It's not just about getting a visa. It could be that you may even have admission. You have money to pay your school fees. But if you have been refused a visa for any country, you, you need to disclose it. Let's have had an opportunity to meet students who have been in the hands of agent, where the agent didn't consider their previous immigration history. So if you have gotten admission, paid your school fees, you have your money to do everything. And let's say you have been refused a UK visa before and you do not disclose it. I am sorry to tell you that that can lead to your visa rejection and it could also lead to your, your visa or your application being banned. So you need to be careful. You need to find out, does the agent understand the process? Do they know the amount of money you need to have in your bank account? Are they aware about the current immigration processes? Why? Because there are some people, even based on your age, certain courses may not be good for you. Certain schools may not be good for you, even though it is UK. You need to find out which school is good for me based on my profile, based on my age, based on my previous studies. It takes a good agent like Astolinx because we know based on your age, the cause that to be good for you, that the immigration can look at it and give you visa. I want you to know that the fact that you have your money, you've got your document does not guarantee that everything is going to work for you, but you need to be fed with the right information. You need to be given the right advice to enable you to do. And therefore I will say that you need to be very careful about whoever handles your application. We have so many good agents in Ghana, not only Astolins, but I want you to know that they are very good ones and they are very bad ones. Do not give your documents to people because they are your church members, because they just did it for your friend, because you met them somewhere and they spoke sweet words to you. Make sure you deal with people who have integrity and they have the trust level and they can manage your application without you being disappointed at the end of the day. 
can we continue to share the video and presentation to our friends and our loved ones? A lot of people have been in the hands of um, agent and they have messed up. They have messed up. Even the agent is supposed to know to handle your application from the beginning to the end, beginning to the end, until you arrive in UK, the agent is supposed to ensure that all these paperwork have been done. On Friday in Accra, I met a gentleman who got admission to study in UK, got the visa, but when he arrived in Heathrow Airport, Terminal 5, he was, he was denied entry and his visa was canceled and he was deported back to Ghana. This is so sad. Why? Because the agent could not advise him to do the, the COVID test at the right, at the right center, the right clinic, and he just did it at any place. And just because of that, his visa has been canceled. He has to come to Ghana and start the whole process again. Why? Because he did not deal with the right agent who could guide him and direct him to do the right thing. I have had those of you who are dealing with agent and the agent is telling you that he's going to give you all the bank statement. You know that you don't have degree certificate and the agent is telling you that he's going to give you a degree certificate for you. Is that not going to be fake? If you are going to submit your application and then agent has given you a bank statement, you know very well that you have not kept money in that bank and you don't have account in that bank and the agent has given you a bank statement which has a, some money in the account. And you know very well that you don't have a bank account over there, my dear friend. Why must you use that document? You know very well that you don't have 10,000 bank A, but agent is giving you a bank statement which has your name and account number in bank A. And you don't have an account there. You don't have such money there. I want you to know that it is fake. And therefore, if you allow the agent to submit that document on your behalf and something happens, you are risking your future. That is what I want to share with you. You are risking your future. You need to be very, very careful. Please, you need to be very, very careful. If somebody is giving you a bank statement, you know very well that you don't have a bank account in that particular bank. And you don't have that amount of money in that bank yourself, in your own name. Please, you should know it is fake. And when the documents are submitted and the embassy finds out and they are denying the visa and banning or putting an entry um, restriction on your future application, it is you, it's not going to be the agent. You don't have training college certificate. You don't have nursing training college certificate. You don't have HND certificate. You don't have a um, degree certificate or a master certificate and transcript. You know you haven't been to university before. But somebody tells you that they are giving you a university certificate and transcript to do your process for you. Don't you know that is fraud? And if it is found out, your visa is going to be refused. It's very sad. So I want you to avoid agent. The moment an agent tells you that I am going to get you a certificate, I'm going to get you a bank a finance. Is he going to put money in your account for you? And are you going to witness that the money is in your account? If not, and an agent give you a certificate and you know very well that that certificate or that pay slip or that document that they are giving to you, you don't have it yourself and they are giving it to you. You should know that it is fraud. And once it is found, they will deny you visa and ban you. And let me tell you, all the embassies are now connected with all the universities, all the employers. There is a way to find out whether the certificate is in your name or not, what they are connected with the bank. Even when the bank statement, they don't find out and you get the visa. I have seen students who have gotten visa arrive in the UK and the visa has been curtailed. Why? Because they paid huge money to the agent and they trusted the agent to do everything. Please, if an agent tells you to pay 50,000 CDs to him and he's going to get you visa, no interview and the rest, watch out, be very careful. I am here to share this free information with you because I've been in the industry and I want to create awareness. I call myself educational travel evangelist and I'm here to evangelize to you to know the right thing to do so that you can have a great future. Those of you who are watching me on Facebook, I've seen you, Nanako Joe Collins, um, Alex and the rest, please, can you share the video? Thank you so much. I can see all of you watching me live. I want to really appreciate you. 
wisdom and all of you okay to the francis and all the people watching me on facebook can we share this video give you a japan i can see all of you lantin watching and all the people watching me on facebook can we share the video if you are stolen clan colin square you just got your visa to study with aston university on friday congratulations i look forward to meet you thank you bright and all the people so let's share this video so our friends will be uh, will know let's look at another pitfall you should avoid Be mindful of individual agents who handle your application without knowing details about documents submitted, emails created. I am also an agent. If an a and you somebody is working on your documents, please, before they submit your application form, look into it. Look at the form. Check it yourself. Have they made the mistake? Because they can make a mistake. And if they make a mistake, they will not be affected. It is you who is going to be affected. So check it. My first. Two UK visas were refused because the agent who did my application failed to check my document and submitted it without my knowledge. By the time I realized, I added, he had already submitted and I got visa refused. I got the visa refused. So if somebody is doing your paperwork, please, as an applicant, you must apply an eagle eye. Look into it yourself. Check it yourself. Have they entered the right information for you? Your date of birth, your passport number, your, your parents' name, your qualification, the details of information they have entered. Find out, are this information correct? You need to do it yourself. Don't just trust that an agent will do everything for you. Please check it yourself, read it, check it. Tell the agent that when they finish every paperwork, they should allow you to see it. Number two, if they have created email address for you, ask them to give you the password so you can trace and check the email yourself. I am saying this because some of our colleagues in the industry, when you are refused a visa, let's say they submitted a document, and the moment you are refused the visa, they will not tell you. They will print the letter, edit it, and give you a different thing. When they realize that it is their fault. I'm saying this because I have a student who applied for UK visa in 2018. He was refused. The agent edited the refusal letter because it was the agent who created the email address for the student. And therefore, when he received the refusal letter, it was a ban. They refused the student because he, the agent provided a fake bank statement. The agent had charged the student for bank statement. And then the bank statement that was provided was fake. And so when he realized that the letter that came showed that the statement, they had seen that the statement was fake, and the student had been banned the visa, they edited the letter and gave another letter as if it was just a normal refusal. The student applied for another visa again, and this time the embassy came to say that, look, your previous application, you provided a fake document, so automatically you have been banned for 10 years. This is very sad. So even when agent asks that they are creating email address, let them use your telephone number, whatever, you create the email and give it to them, give them the password. Have access to every information yourself.
Pardon me, we still have a network challenge. When you have paid for internet service, you are working and the line will be just break. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's co continue to um, share the information, those of you on Facebook and Zoom. Let's continue to engage our friends and our loved ones. So as I was saying, if you are here and at the end of the day, you realize that um, you, are some, you are doing any application, it is your responsibility to ensure that you are aware about documents that are being submitted, details about the documents and emails created. And when the embassy being sent email to request for additional information, you should be aware, you should know what they're looking for. Don't just let the agent do everything. Tell the agent anything happened, you should let you know before they respond. This is very, very important so far as education travel or general travel is really concerned. Thank you. Let's look at the third one. As I said, I, I speak a lot about agents. I, so let's look at number two, be mindful of agent. Let's, number three, don't be, don't, be, don't, be too, don't be too excited. Don't be in a haste to be excited about tuition discount. Some people look at scholarship that is being running online and they thought, please, can we switch off our camera and mute yourself? When you see that, you see a scholarship or something is being promoted online, don't be in a haste to just accept it. Do your background check. So if you, somebody is telling your visa is assured, your visa is guaranteed, 100% payment before, get visa before you pay, and all these things, please be very, very careful. When you want to travel, when you want to study in any country and you are preparing your application, be mindful. Don't be in a haste for promotions online to say 100% scholarship, visa guaranteed, and all those things. Please and please be very mindful about this and always ensure that you have done due diligence before you sign up. Now, Another pitfall which you must, you must consider a lot, it's about study destinations. Look, before you choose to study in any country, you must consider working right. The country you want to study, can you work there? Even as a student, can you get part-time work? If you are somebody who is going to rely on employment to pay part of your fees, and you're going to study in a country where they will not give you the opportunity to work part-time, please, Avoid it, even if you are getting some percentage scholarship, it may not help you. Number two, the country, when you are studying, when you graduate, would they give you post-study permits? Assuming you are taking a loan to go and study, and then when you finish, they will not allow you to stay in the country to work. You must be very concerned about it, especially if you are going to borrow. When your borrowers know that, at the end of the day, you are going to get the money back to them. But when you finish, they'll tell you to leave the country. Please, you have to be very careful. You even have to consider your age. There are some people, even if you get full scholarship to study in some countries, consider your age. If you finish studying and at the end of the day, you cannot stay there and work even for a year, are you coming back to look for employment? Look at how difficult and competitive it is to find employment. So don't just be too excited that you are going to get an admission, but you need a good counselor who will look at you based on your profile. So we are saying that factors such as working right, post-study permit, family settlement, the country you are going to study, can your wife and your children join you once you are studying there? Imagine if you are studying in a country where your wife and your children cannot join you for three years, four years, five years, and you cannot work to support yourself. What is the essence of going to that country? This is the reason why you should not fall for any advertisement. You need a good agent who will sit you down and look at your age. You are 40 years. You are 20 years to go on pension. If you are to leave Ghana and you are going to study in that country, you should find out if I studied two years in the country and I even stayed there three to four years to work, it will be far better than living in. Other than that, there's no need for you to leave your job to go to a country where you finish your course. One, you are not allowed to work part-time. You finish your course, you cannot stay there. Your wife and your children cannot join you. You need to be very careful before you say yes to such countries. And this is the reason why I, I am promoting UK. Thank God 
at the moment. UK says once you are studying, you can work part time. Once you finish, you get two to three year post study permit. Your children can join you, and your wife can, or your wife or your spouse can join you and work full time to support you. Payment plan of fees, even if you don't have all the money, you can pay the money in installment. And UK immigration is friendly to international students. You need a good counselor to be able to look at all this and look at your profile and your age and recommend it for you. Even there are some courses based on your age, when you study those courses, when you finish, you won't get a job, even in those countries. So the agent have to show you the right course to choose and this will go a long way to help you. I had the opportunity to study education in the UK and I got the opportunity to teach as a science teacher in London all because I got the good counselor who directed me my path and showed me the right thing to do. And just staying there for some few days, life became better for me. So my dear friend, don't just be in a haste. Avoid choosing study destination because of promotions you see online. Thank you. Let's continue. Consider your age. Maybe you are 40 years plus. You are going, as I said, Consider your age. Some people do not care. There are some countries, if you're above 30 years, you cannot do masters. If you're above 25 years, you can do degree. So you have to consider your age. You can't just say, oh, I have money. I'm going to travel and study in any country. They will take your money. And at the end of the day, they will tell you that, sorry, you don't qualify. So consider your age, your finance, objective of the course, even the course you are going to study. You need to, what is the objective of the course? When you finish pursuing this course, how will this course improve your future career and educational goals? You need to look at all this. So these are pitfalls you need to consider if you want to study in any country. And I'm saying that UK is number one, consider irrespective of your age. If you have the opportunity to become my client, even if you're 50 years, I want to tell you, I will advise you the right course that you pursue. And after you have studied in UK, it will help you to get very good grounds, have a good future, and you will never regret traveling abroad. You will never regret investing in international education because international education is good. If you get to know the right person to direct you, if you get the right person to lead you, if you get the right person to show you the way. Yesterday, I spoke to a couple of my students one was a teacher. He's, he has been teaching in Ghana for 21 years. He's, he was, and he had the opportunity to travel to UK to study. And the wife is now studying and he's working full time to support the wife. And said, Brother Richard, when I was in Ghana, I was paid less than 400, about 350 pounds as a teacher. That is around 2,200 Ghana cities. But now as uh, he's making that money, less than a week in UK. In less than a week, he's making that money. So he's making times five of the amount of money he's been paid in Ghana in a month in UK. And he was thanking me for helping him to have a great ground. So I want to say that if you get a good agent like myself and my team in Astolinks here, we can advise you on the right call, the right school, the right destination, and that will help you and your family. And this is what I'm here doing. If you have your wife and your children and you want to move out of Ghana, you want to study in any country to improve your future career and educational goals, come and let me advise you. Come and let me show you the pathway, direct you to do the right course, the right school, the right environment in the UK. That people, London may not be good for you. Birmingham may not be good for you. Manchester may not be good for you. I'll look at your profile and recommend the best destination based on your profile for you. Thank you. So you need to consider the course objective. You need to look at your finances. You need to look at your age before you even make a selection. Don't just go for anything. Thank you very much. There are people who come to me and I just tell them straight, you don't qualify for this. Meanwhile, they have already paid the exclusion. Say, if you do this, your visa will be refused. Yes, if you do this, your visa will be refused. And therefore, when I show it to them, they know the right thing to do. And it goes a long way to help them have a great future. Thank you. Let's go. 
even when you are looking at the country, factors to consider of each institution and cost, the cost of tuition. You do look at the cost of tuition. There are some schools in UK now, they are running the two-year course. So if you choose to study a two-year course, it is cheaper than doing a one-year course. Why am I saying this? You, are, you may be using the two years to study one course and you'll be paying like say 10,000 pounds or 12,000 pounds. Whereas you may be using one year to pay another 10,000 pounds. So you can have more time to pay the two year course than using one year. All this based on your profile, based on your profile, we will know. But if you have got money to pay your fees on time, you don't need to spend two years. That is it. So based on your profile, we need to consider. We need to look at friendly immigration opportunity. So your immigration history, maybe you have been denied a visa in some countries. We need to consider that once going to apply for UK, we need to look at all these factors and make sure we do the needful. I want to give you a gift. What is the role of educational agent like Astolings? The role of educational agent is to cancel you based on your profile and help you to choose the right destination. That's my company. That's the company we run. Uh, my question, my, my, my objective is to advise you. Even if you're a professor of medicine, if you want to study abroad, you come to us and we advise you. We show you the pathway. We direct you the right thing to do. So far as international education is concerned, that's what I have studied and specialize in. So based on your profile, and then you take the decision. I've seen so many people who have traveled to US, traveled to Canada, traveled to Australia to do their masters. When they graduated, they can't find employment in that country. Why? Because they did not get the right advice from the onset. So the fact that you have gotten visa admission to go to a country or to study does not mean you have done the right decision. No, it is nothing at all. You need from the beginning know what you're going to do. Sometimes you may have all your documents and your visa is refused and you do not understand. It's because you didn't get the right advice. We have 99% visa success rate, 99 visa success rate. Because if we advise you and you follow up, at the end, they, there's no way you should be refused a visa. Why am I saying this? People come to me and they want to study in UK or USA. And I said, look, this is not good for you. They said, no, I just like it that way. I said, no, you will not get a visa. He said, no, I want it. The fact that your friend got it does not mean you will get it. Your friend profile may be different. So you need to be very careful in considering all these factors before we do it. We also help students in searching for scholarships. So we have GNPC scholarship from Ghana, Get Fund. We have the scholarship secretariat scholarship, Work Bank, Common Work, Shivenen scholarship, and the rest. All these are scholarship opportunities. Now, before our end, our service fee. What do we do? Our service fee. I want to share this with you. So our process, number one is our process. How do we help you to choose the right school and the right documentation to make sure your dream of studying abroad come to reality? Number one, connect with us to advise you on the right course school based on your profile. If you want to study in UK based on the fantastic information I've just shared today, as UK is not the number one study destination for all African students, as I said, UK is not the number one. If you want to avoid visa refusal, if you want to travel with your wife and your children, so you can all stay in the UK. If you're looking for a country where you and your wife can study and work to support yourself, it's UK. If you're looking for a country where you can study and the tuition fee is affordable and you are allowed to pay it in installment, it's UK. So let me start. If you are looking for a country where the qualification is globally recognized, it's UK. If you're looking for a country which has a lot of teaching and learning resources, it is UK. If you are in Africa, you are looking for a country where in terms of proximity is closer to Africa, it is UK. If you are looking for a country where you can pay your tuition fee in installment, it is UK. If you are looking for a country where when you finish your studies, you can stay there and work full time to make money to come and invest in Africa, like I did, it is UK. If you are looking for a country where you can work part time, it is UK. Those of us from English speaking countries, in terms of adaptability, 
it is UK. If you want your wife to join you and work full time to support you, it is UK. If you, are, you want your children below 18 years to join you so that you can still take care of them during your studies, it is UK. If you are looking for a country where you will not be discriminated, abused, it is UK. If you are looking for a country where you can get local food, because there are so many African markets in, U, in, in UK, it is UK. So I want to tell you that at this present moment, there is no country that is selling better than UK. I do for Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Ireland, Germany, everywhere. Please, there's no country that is selling better than UK at this moment. Others may have some compelling selling unit, but the best now in terms of average is UK. And that is why I want to recommend it to you. Change your destination, make impact, improve your life, secure your future by having the UK education. Now, UK have January intake, they have May intake, they have September intake. And I can use just less than two months, two months, to prepare you to get education in UK, get your visa and everything for you to be able to get to the UK. Now, how do you start the process? Connect with us to advise you on the right course based on your profile. Submit your document. The documents you may need are your educational certificate and transcript, your passport, your CV, high school certificate, and whatever. If you have C6 in WASI, up to C6, you don't need English proficiency. If you have um, D in SSE, you don't need it. Pay our service fee. Our dedicated counsel will review your document, guide you to write strong statement of paper, and then submit your application to the school, and then we begin. That's how we start our processes. Today, I have a special offer. My service fee is $500. My service fee is $500. That is what I charge to help you go through all the process, everything. However, because of COVID and other factors, I am doing about 85% free. Now, if you are here and you are interested, you want to go to UK in May, May or September 2021, I am giving a whooping $350 discount. A whooping $350 discount. So instead of $500, the whole service fee will drop to $150, which is about 800 Ghana cities. Instead of 2,900 cities or 3,000 cities, I am dropping everything to about 800 Ghana cities. Now, today, my service fee for anybody who is interested to go to UK, May 2021 or September 2021, has been dropped from 2,900 cities or 3,000 Ghana cities to about 850 or 900 Ghana cities. That is the whole money you will pay to my company from the beginning till you get your visa and arrive in UK and no any other money else to as our service fee. How do we get that? You need to register today before I'll end this Zoom session. All that you need to do is to guarantee your space with 200 Ghana cities into the mobile number 0244-502752. Secure your place now. If you want to study medicine, pharmacy, engineering, any course, undergraduate or postgraduate course, from now till September, and you want to secure your spot now, today, guarantee your place with 200 Ghana CD, which is part of the $150 left. The $150 today is about 880 Ghana CDs. That's the only money you pay to us. Apart from this promotion, if you work to me, you pay $500. This is a fantastic opportunity. So if you want to study in the UK, medicine, any course you want to study at undergraduate or postgraduate, if you have HND and you want to do a top up for one year, if you have a nursing diploma and you want to do a top up for one year, there's an opportunity for you now. Just secure your place. Just send your mobile money, mobile money of 200 Ghana cities to the uh, mobile number 0244-502752. The name on it is Astolens International to secure your place. And what will I do for you? I'll help you to, I will counsel you to know the right school and the right course and the right place in UK to study. I will do your application for admission. I will make sure you apply for some scholarship and I'll make sure I guide you through the application, training you, even if they have to interview, we do the process with you and guide you and ensure that you are successful with application, some tuition discount or scholarship 
guide you to get your visa and ensure that you can arrive safely in UK without any problem in the airport. Pre-departure orientation for you until we connect you with Astolin's client in UK or the university that you are attending. This is what I've got for you. Some of you have questions, so I'll come to your questions. So if you are here and you have the opportunity, you want to study in the UK, please, I'm here to help you. If you have a husband in UK, can you help me, my children join him? Yes, I can help you. Edna, if your husband is studying in the UK, I can let you join your husband within the few months ahead of you. Please, do I need ILA to qualify? No, if you have SSE, C6, you don't need it. Ajima Minka. Okay, Simon, nice question. How can you help me if I don't have enough amount in my account? Book an appointment to meet me. Please, the number again, Suzanne, the number is 0244-502752. It is displayed on the link. It is displayed on the link. So if you are here, if you are here and you are interested to study in the UK, January is already done, May and September 2021. I am here to help you and ensure we help you to do the right paperwork. That this mobile number works for me here in Liberia. Yes, it, it should work for you in Liberia. My colleague will contact you, Edwin. Edwin, my colleague will contact you. Thank you. You can do rapid money transfer. Our clients in other African countries do rapid money transfer. So if you are in Ghana or any part of the world, you want Astolin to help you get admission, get your visa, process the necessary document for you. What about GMAT for PhD? Yes, you can contact me, Susan, after this about GMAT. But let's look at the UK process I'm talking about. As I said, if you are studying in the UK at the moment, you will get work permit after your studies. And this is fantastic. This is fantastic. It's far better than wasting your time. So many avenues, if you have the opportunity and you can live and study in the UK with your wife and your children, it would be very fantastic for you. So if you are here and you want to, let me know if you have secured your place. If you have secured your place, let me know. When you finish paying, please submit, submit your name to the same mobile number. Please, what if I have been refused once and you don't have the old document to use previous with you? Thank you, Lily. This is where we have a lot of challenge from some of the students. So what we will do is that I can go to UK Immigration and apply for the details, book appointment and meet me one-on-one, -on -one, Lily, and I'll be happy to, to lead you. There's no problem with it. We can sort you out. Boss, I need to contact you direct. I'll put my number there, Alex. I'm outside Ghana, I have a lot of questions, which need you to answer. I'll do that. Do you secure fully funded scholarship? Depend If you have a first class, you can get full scholarship or 50%, especially if you want to go to University of Liverpool. If you had the first class and you're interested in University of Liverpool, contact us, we will help you to get up to 50% scholarship. Thank you, please. I Do I need to write English proficient if I apply with degree certificate? If you had CSAs in your WASC or D in SSC, you don't need English proficiency, letter or ILET or TOEFL or any other thing. Thank you. So keep your questions coming. As I said, so if you are here, book your seat to meet me one on one to know more about application, admission, visa, get the right counseling, secure your place with 200 Ghana CDs. You can pay through our mobile money. Thank you. So if you're here and you're interested, please book your space at the moment and I'll be happy to engage you right now. Thank you very much. If you're here and you're interested to secure your place. Those of you on Facebook, you can also keep your questions coming. If you're on Facebook, keep your questions coming. All our clients on Facebook, keep your questions. Where is your office located in Accra? We are on 52 Fan of Fan Road, Kukumrimli. Thank you. That's where our office is located. So those of you on Facebook, you can keep your questions coming and we are happy to engage you. I have H and the second class up with or five years experience in finance, will I qualify for scholarship? You can get some tuition discount. And with your HND, you can do a one year and get a bachelor's degree. And you get two year post study permit. From there, you can continue to do your master's. I want to know more about the program that can secure you employment after your study. Book appointment and meet me one on one. And there are so many programs. So the program that can help you to secure employment, 
once I meet you one on one, I'll advise you on the sort of document, the sort of courses, and how you'll be eligible for those. How can you help if I don't have enough amount in my account? I said you need to book an appointment to meet me one on one. I want to know more about the product. And okay, do you have office in Sunyani? Unfortunately, we have closed the office in Sunyani. So if you're in Kumasi, you'll be under Kumasi office. Kumasi office will take care of you, Edmond. So you can send a message to us or book an appointment to meet me one-on-one. Oh, Evans, you are in UK. I know you are in Sunderland. He's watching us from Facebook. I'm one of the Astolin students who just arrived in UK just last month. I must confess that Astolin is the best agency to fall on you. Evans, Evans, come on Zoom. Send me WhatsApp message. Let me send you the link and join me on Zoom right now. Evans, send me WhatsApp now. And let me send you the link to join me now on Zoom and talk to our friends on Zoom. Evans just left Ghana some few days ago. Uh, Collins, if you're also here, send me a message on WhatsApp. Let me send you the Zoom link so that you can be there and talk to those on Zoom and Facebook too. Those of you are from UK now. Thank you. So I'm waiting to hear from you. Evans, thank you so much. Philemon, I want to see you in my office. Thank you. So if you have a question, please keep coming. Keep your questions coming, please. Where we are on um, Takwadu office is located at... Uh, uh, Liberation Road, first floor of Ifia Crenshaw Legacy, opposite the old SDA hospital. My our our manager is Juliana. She will be in touch with you, Lily. So if you can send me a message, I'll put my number there for you to be engaging me. Thank you. Keep your questions coming. Philemon, send me the Zoom link to share with some of our colleagues in UK so they can also um, they can also talk to us on Zoom. Philemon, I'm waiting for you. Okay, so if you are here, I'm waiting to hear from you. Thank you. How can we help someone with tech class and D7? English math. Please, you don't have a problem. Book appointment, I'll show you how to go about it. You don't have. Some of our schools have internal English where they can ask you to write the internal English without paying for it. So you don't have a problem at all. Um, I'm an recruitment agent, please. You don't ask questions. I don't understand. Okay, Simon, if you can send me a message. I don't understand if you can get back to me again. So I'm waiting for you if you're here and secure your place. Thank you. So um, Evans, I've sent you the link on Zoom. Join us on Zoom right now. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I just want to secure your place right now. Um, you can do that. Evans, Mama. I have already applied to the ticket. I need to start Can you, Edwin, why not? Why not? We need to advise you on the right thing to do. Thank you so much. So as I said, going to study abroad, there are so many factors you need to consider. Our traveling abroad, so many factors. Somebody will be honest and speak with you. And I'm saying I'm here to do that for you. So if you're here to be interested, to engage me as your consultant to help you through the process, get admission. Instead of paying $500, I've waived it to $150. And to secure that, just pay your 200 Ghanaian cities before I am done. So can you extend the deadline to tomorrow because today's holiday in Liberia? Okay, Edwin, I think you've sent me a message on WhatsApp already. And I should, okay. Are you in Liberia? <laughs> okay. I've seen my friend in Gabon. Someone is sending me from Liberia. Okay, Edwin, you'll be contacted. Somebody is scholarship assured. It's based on merit, but we'll show you the right thing to do. Please, I just joined. Can you please brief say what you just said earlier? So I'm just giving information about what you need to do to be able to study in the UK. The pitfalls to avoid, and there are so many things that I have shared. And I'm saying those of you who have joined me online, what you need to do is book an appointment with me. And I'll go through the process to ensure that you get admission, get some tuition discount, visa process so you don't get visa refused and every paperwork is going to be genuine and authentic for you. Thank you. I said the appointment is 200 Ghana cities, which is part of the $150 that I'm charging. So I said my service fee is 
$500, but I'm giving $350 discount. If you book an appointment and pay you $50, your 200 Ghana cities now. Thank you so much. I want to know more about the product. I can help you secure employment. I think I've already answered that. Okay, another question. Please, I just joined. Can you help me? It's a question, sir, can you extend the deadline to tomorrow? Edwin, they will contact you. I've already applied to a school. Do I need a scholarship? Yes, we can help you. Thank you so much. So if you have a question, keep your question coming. Let's look at those of you on Facebook, what the Facebook people also have to say. Thank you, Facebook people. What do you, what answers they have, the question they have. Okay, please say, in Gabon, banks have closed to me. Okay, Brenda, I know you have sent me a message, understand. Abby, how much will it cost me to be able to study a master's program? It depend on your profile and the course you are studying. Thank you so much. Evans, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Isaac Harrison, Gideon in Japan. Simon English, where is your office? I've shared it with you. Collins, I come on Zoom and let's share ideas together. So if you are here, let's hear from you and your question. I am at a place where I don't have my wallet. Can you extend my paying day? We will let you know. Did you say appointment is the service is $200? No, our service fee is $500. We have given $350 discount. So the whole service fee from application till you get your visa is $150. But I'm saying to, to be eligible for this $150 package, you have to pay 200 Ghana CDs, which is $35, 200 Ghana CDs into our mobile account, which is $35, which is 200 Ghana CDs. Thank you. Ivan Sasiama, thank you. He said, so Ivan is joining us on Zoom. Ivan, um, um, you are joining on Zoom. Ivan Sasiama, everyone, as a second to none, I had refused. Yes, so Ivan is talking to you. I want Ivan to talk to you. Ivan, if you're here, I'm making you, um, uh, Ivan is going to be one of our speakers. So Ivan, you are talking to tell them about who you were and the challenge you had. And when you met Astolins, what we did for you. So let's pay attention, listen to Ivan. Evans, so you can talk now. I've made you a co-host. Mr. Yantra. Okay. Okay. Thank Hello, you. Evans. Thank you, Mr. Richard. Thank can you, Mr. See? Richard. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. 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 I want to talk to everybody on this platform that uh, don't take, uh, uh, don't fall into the wrong uh, agency. Once Astolinx is the best um, uh, agency to fall on, don't don't go anywhere. Stay here and listen to what Mr. Richard is saying. Personally, I I had to uh, refuse us from UK uh, immigration, and by the grace of God, when I met Astolinx, they were able to secure uh, admission for me uh, in at North Northumbria University, and then also helped me to through my visa process and everything even my bank statement and everything they they were the one that um, uh, handled it for me and now i am here studying in the uk so if you are here just believe that uh, with uh, us to links being your agency you don't have to worry you just have to uh, follow the necessary uh, procedures and uh, all the the tips that they keep on giving you so that's what I want to tell all of us. Is uh, Astolins is second to none. I must confess because I I didn't know that they could do that for me well, because uh, you know Evans. I had yes. Evans. Is that it? Is that it? So, um, let people know who you are. Where were you living in Ghana? So people would know um, maybe your workplace, where you church. Yes, yes. I I was living in Cape Coast, Cape Coast, Ghana. And so, and I, I was working with uh, Dallas Finance, Dallas Finance in uh, Cape Coast branch. That was where I, I was working as a manager. And then when I heard that, no, when I decided to study, I was- How did Ghana. you join Astolins? It was through Zoom. Yes, I joined, I, I joined Astolins through Zoom. I, I watched your, your webinar on Zoom and Facebook as well. And that's where I took your numbers from. And I decided to, to come to your office in Kumasi. And so before I was talking to Philemon, before I even met you, Mr. Richard, yourself. And so that's, that's where I started everything. That was uh, last year, last year, August. Yes. And so within August, I was able to 
once I submitted all my documents, I think it was 24th August, no, 22nd August, I, I applied, uh, they applied the school for me. And within two days, I got admission. Within two days, I got admission. And then I started my deposit, my fees deposit. And by God's grace, God has been so good. God has been so good. So whatever Mr. Richard is telling you, their team is the best. Their team is the best because they are going to take you through the orientations for interview and everything you need to pass through. So if you are spending money, know that you are spending money to gain something. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Yes. So that's, that's it. Yeah, so if you have questions to ask him, Adnan, you are also watching us live. Yeah. You're in Side University. Adnan, yes. send me a message and then let me so that join us on Zoom. Send me a yeah, message so on if, WhatsApp. Let me send if, you. If anybody mm -hmm. ha have any question, you can you can you can ask me. I am a testimony. Yeah, uh, you were saying about the amount that you spent before going, but you didn't tell us the specific amount that you spent. Okay, that one, and, okay. that one, uh, it depends on what I want to say is that, mm. even that uh, question yes. I want to handle depends, on, yes. it yes. depends on the school, because the amount of money the tuition yeah. deposit Evans paid is different from, Evans paid almost 6,000 pounds for his school yes. fees, so he yes. had to pay more school fees. Some people may pay even a thousand pounds school fees deposit. So that amount depends on your profile. That is why you need to book appointment with me and know the right school that is good for you. You understand? So when you get, when I get to know who you are, then I advise you based on the right school. Because even some people, if you have been refused a visa before, there are some schools we can't apply for you. If you have been, we need to know your profile and know the right school to choose for you. So if you want to know the cost, once you book an appointment with me, I'll be able to advise you on the right school to choose and other things, yes. Adnan too is joining us on 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 Zoom and also Shempo. So Evans be there. Okay. So as I said, it's based on your your profile. And so if you're interested to meet me one on one for us to start the process, I have given a discount of three fifty dollars out of five hundred dollars. You're only paying one fifty dollars. Evans paid more. Evans paid about five hundred dollars. He paid two hundred dollars initially, and yes. then continue like that. Yes. So if you are here, I've said I've waived $350 out. If you can register today before I am done with this Zoom session, then you can book your, your space right now. Adnan, yes, we have yes, Dr. Adnan also here. We have Dr. Adnan, Dr. Muhammad Adnan. Adnan yeah. went to a degree in Ukraine, He's a medical doctor by profession, and currently studying in UK, Teesside University. He's doing Master of Public Health, two year yeah. Master of Adnan, um, you yes, also sir. fell in the hands of another agent before you came to us, too. So can you yeah. tell us um, uh, everything and then let's go, how you got contact with Astolens and how the process went, everything, yeah. so that your friends love. Let people know where you live in Ghana and your background a bit and then start from there. Yeah, actually, I'm Adnan. And as my boss said, I'm, I'm a medical doctor. So... I, I live at uh, Kaswa, that's uh, the Cape Coast Road, along the Cape Coast Road. So actually, when I started this process, it was with another agency. So, and there was a whole lot of confusion with the agency because they couldn't do what I wanted them to do. So suddenly, and I, I, I actually remembered quickly from my friend, John, who told me that Astolinx is the best, like, you know, because he already started working with them. So I quickly messaged my boss, Richard, and I had his number long ago, but just that I forgot to contact him in the first place. So quickly when I messaged him, he said, yes, yeah, something can be done. I said, oh, quickly he did something and we did. he told me what to do and I did it. Then within two, within two weeks, within two weeks, everything was just moving. And the way that things were moving too quick for me, I was like, hey, things are just moving, just do, just follow instructions. That's for me, this is what I learned from them. Just follow instruct, instructions from them. They will tell you what to do and they will assign you somebody. For me, the uh, Mr. my boss, Ebenezer, he was the one taking care of everything. And, and then- so in, in when you become a customer, 
we assign yeah. you to a, a, a counselor, and it's that yes. counselor who guide you to everything. I'm just a CEO. So the yes. moment you became Ivan had who Yvonne, right? Ivan had yes. Yvonne. Yes, I had and Yvonne. Adnan had. Yes, if, Adnan had. Mr. had uh, and, Ebenezer and for me, I was lucky. I had I had Mr. Ebenezer. I had Mr. Bismarck. I also had. Yeah, uh, uh, Irene is it, uh, Tina or yeah, I think Tina also. Tina, Tina. Tina, yeah. The manager for Kumasi, yes. Yeah, they they mm -hmm. were on me. They were so much on me. They would call me anytime. They call me Adnan. You have to do this. Then I was I was like, hey, this agency, I want to go, but they would rather want me to go. <laughs> so they were pushing <laughs> me to to keep going. <laughs> you know. So luckily, I came here. So it's been like four months and. Uh, trust me, it's not just me. We are we are a lot here, and most of us are from uh, uh, Astolings. Most of us, yeah, I have them yeah. all here. They are all here around with me. Then, if you want to talk with them, I can bring them on. Uh, who so is there me. with you? Who is there with you? John who is, is there, here. Who is there with you? John is here. Judy. Oh, let's talk here. to them. Let's talk to them. Let's talk to yeah. them. Let's talk okay, to them. Okay, I'll bring them here now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. So as I said, um, it's not just by saying it, it's practical. You need the right person to guide you. If not, people are only interested in the money. It's not about just money, but helping people to achieve their dream, their future career and educational goal. So the spot is there for you. If you want to benefit from this August service, please book appointment with me. You just have to deposit your 200 Ghana cities and then I'll have the opportunity to meet you one-on-one -on -one, or if you have to um, meet me on Zoom or online. It should have to be virtual. I don't have a problem, but I'm very happy to engage you and show you the right thing to do. Even if I meet you and UK is not the best for you, I'll be bold enough to tell you that UK is not the best for you. So choose another destination. That's what I do. And if you are ready to go by that, yes, that will be fantastic. Let's do this here. <laughs> is there anybody who wants to talk to us? Hello, Jude. Jude. Jude What's is here. Talk? Yeah. Hey, yeah, is it Jude? Yeah, okay, Jude. Let's talk to Jude. Let's talk to Jude. Let's, yeah. Hey, Jude. Yeah, Jude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jude. How are you? Oh, uh, I'm good. Yourself? I'm very well, thank you. So, uh, this is Richard. See your fast links. Jude. Yeah. Oh, said, <laughs> I remember you. You're also doing. Yeah, you're doing what program are you doing at T side? <laughs> Um, currently offering uh, visual you communication. Was for masters in visual communication. Oh yeah, yeah. Hello, masters in visual communication. Right? Yeah, 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 masters in visual so communication. People watching you. People watching you. Um, how was the? How did you get to know uh, Astolens and what kind of no, service? Did you say, yes, Tell yes. them the experience oh. with that. <laughs> okay, me personally. Um. Before I got to know of Astolinks, uh, I had already applied to Teesside and got my admission. Then I went to the school's website to find out more. Then I think they had partners that they work with. So it, it was through the school that I came to know of Astolinks. So I came and then explained what I wanted, the help I wanted. So from there, I think almost my whole visa process and everything was, Astolinks helped me through everything from my visa process to I got here. Okay. And how was the experience? Who was your counselor? Uh, I was with Paige. Thank you. And how was how did Paige manage you? Oh, she was <laughs> very free to talk to. And then if there's anything I had, any issue I had, I could just speak to her. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, my, 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 Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, so if you are here and you are ready, let me know you have booked your, your, your slot. Uh, let's take it from you. So if you have booked your slot, can you send me the message? 
We are closing in five minutes' time. I will be there. Never be blown. Yeah, five minutes' time. We are closing five minutes. Thank you so much. I said, UK is not the best destination to study, and I want to recommend it to you and your family and your friends. Don't look anywhere else. Flexible visa process, straightforward application. We have 99% success rate, opportunity to work part-time, opportunity to work full-time on holidays, opportunity to get three-year post-study work permit if you are doing degree or master's, opportunity to get three-year post-study permit if you are doing PhD, opportunity to send your wife and your children with your wife getting the opportunity to work full-time to support you. These are, and many more, are the reason why I would recommend to you to study in UK. If you are here, and you are happy to engage me. We have intake in May 2021, and we have intake, intake in September 21. Please book a spot to meet me so that we waive our application fee of $350 to $150 for you. Secure this space now. Just pay 200 Ghana, which is equivalent to $35 to secure your space. And I'm happy that you will never regret meeting me on this great day. Richard Obian Smith is my name and I'm the CEO of Astolins International. If you are looking forward to travel, as I said, do be careful with bogus travel agencies who are only interested in your money, who are only interested in the money that they will get from you. Make sure you do the right paperwork, get the right agency who will be transparent with you and ensure that they have supported you with all the information that you need. This is what you need. And this is what we ought to do at the moment. So I'm looking forward to engage you and I'm looking forward to be your consultant to help you travel to study abroad. Thank you, my friend, we just paid. Thank you so much. Eben Nimo, UK Education, you are smart. You didn't allow, <laughs> okay, wow. Nimo has just paid and sent me the receipt. My personal mobile number is 050. 535-6060. Nimo, I have seen it. Thank you. I've seen it. Nimo, I've, I've stored, stored your number. I want some who want an action. Thank you. So if you're here and you want to travel to the UK to study, you have wife and children, you want to change environment, I do not encourage you to pay connect money to people that they should help you to travel. You are a graduate, you are a high school graduate, H and &E grad, a professional. Why do you pay like $10,000, $50,000 to somebody that you should just take you and get you a visitor's visa? Even if they get you the visa, you can't use the visa to work. And after two weeks to six months, you become illegal. You can't leave, you can't come if you overstay. Let me tell you now, if you overstay in the UK, your visa, you can't go to UK again the rest of your life. If you overstay in Europe, you can't go to all the changing countries. So if you have money, use a legitimate means to travel. Other than that, by the time you become a minister and you want to travel, you have a band. So many innocent people, it pains me. Agents have taken advantage of them and have built their future. And even when now that they have the money, they can't travel again because there is a band. If you somebody, you use a fake band statement, a fake certificate, a fake transcript, a fake letter, to apply for visa and you are caught, you will be banned. So I'm evangelizing to you to do the needful. Even if you don't have money today, it is better to be patient and wait. If you don't have the right document, it will be patient to wait till your time. If you come to me and you are not eligible, I will fail you to be patient and wait till when opportunities and doors will be open for you. The UK government just introduced the post study permit just last year. So by then, I wouldn't promote UK like I'm promoting. I would have promoted Canada, Ireland, Australia. Now the door is open. And that is why I am promoting this to you. So my dear friend, my dear loved one, don't be in a haste. Don't rush. Take your time and go through the process. If you have money and you want to do it, let the right people also guide and support you. And I know tomorrow you and I are going to laugh. Thank you very much. As I said, if you want to secure your space now, please do it now book an appointment with me and the whole process from now to get your visa is $150 instead of $500. I am giving $350 discount. So if you're interested to engage me, 
send your money to my mobile number and send me a receipt with your name and I will engage you. Thank you very much. In five minutes time, we close. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. If you are ready, let me know. Let me hear from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Adnan. Thank you, Evans. You're welcome, boss. For talking to me. And I hope very soon we will engage you again. Thank yeah. you so much, Evans. Evans went through Wait. a lot of process, but eventually got his visa. <laughs> Adnan was very simple for him. Yeah. We needed a CBT. The name looks familiar. So um, I'm happy to engage all of you. And I'm happy that um, I'll be your consultant and work to support you to ensure your dream of studying abroad becomes a reality. Um, another person has also opened a video. Who is that? This is Isaac. I'm with my Isaac, what? Isaac Sechi. Uh, Colin Square uh, recommended your agency to, to us. We are here. We okay. are here working at Sierra Leone. Oh, you are working in Sierra Leone. Okay, Isaac. I think he spoke to me about you. Yes, 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 yes. He spoke to me about you. How are you, Isaac? I'm doing good, sir. Okay, thank you, Isaac. Isaac, a Japan Sechi. Yes. Thank you for the support. And I think he spoke to me. Thank you. Thank you. So okay. that's what we, I have clients in Sierra Leone. I have clients in Freetown. Yeah, so um, Susan, you are also there. Susanna or Susan. Um, I'm ending here. Okay. I have already put my numbers down there. As I, I want to finally state that traveling abroad is not a miracle. It is, it is being conscious of what you want to do and following the right process, getting yeah. the right person to advise you. That's when I met your friend Collins, I told him, I took him to the process and I made him to know that this is how we go about it. And by the grace of God today, he has gotten his visa and he, he should be leaving very soon. So it is not about paying huge money to somebody to do connection. It's about getting the right documentation, getting someone who will lead you and show you that this is, this is what you need to do. Once you do that, you will get your visa. That's the truth I'm sharing with all of you. So if, and sometimes somebody will come, I want to go to USA. I can look at you and tell you that USA may not be good for you today. Go to UK. From there, you get a visa to go to US. I went to USA from UK because I applied US visa here twice. I was denied and I went to UK and I got the visa. You understand? So you always follow the advice of your consultant. People go to school to become medical doctors. We trust them for whatever they tell us. I am also telling you that I'm a surgeon when it comes to international travel and education. I'm a surgeon in it. I am not good in tourism. If you come and ask me, you want to go for holiday somewhere about tourism. I have a friend in Accra called Dancy Travel. I recommend him for you for that. But when it comes to international education, going to somewhere to study education, where you want your wife and your children to have a future tomorrow, I'll tell you, come to me. I will remove all the intestines for you. That's what I do. I'm a consultant in it. And I'm not saying it because say for same sake. I have also traveled and studied abroad. I've gone to, I've done all the media jobs. I've done all the things. I've gone through it. And I'm a testimony sharing the practical experience that I have had with all of you. So I want to end by saying that if you're interested, Alex Ajiman and all the people who have joined me today, if you're interested to connect with me to know more about what you should do to travel and study abroad, to have a great future, book appointment with me and I'll be very happy to engage all of you. I want to end by saying that I put my number, I want to send you my number to all of you so that if you have the opportunity to talk to me, um, you can do so. Thank you, Ivan. Don't think twice, connect with us two links now. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need to think twice. Connect with us now, 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 now. So my number is 02050535600. Thank you. That's Richard is my name. Italian. And I'm happy to meet you again. God bless you so much. Okay. I'm ending this meeting now. Thank you so much. Now, I want to say that that's, I've sent my number and my name to you. Book appointment to meet me. 
Thank you so much. JB to me. Thank you. Don't think twice. Thank you. Thank you. So now, my friends, I have extended. I have, so I gave 10 spot, seven payment. Thank you. I have the last three payments until four o'clock. If you book until four o'clock, you'll be eligible for the same discount. Thank you. God bless you. Adnan, stay safe. Eva, stay safe. Isaac, stay safe. And all Thank the guys you. who met me today. God bless you. I love yeah. you. And Thank cheers. You, Please work hard to make more money, okay? Yeah. Work hard. Get, make steady hard. Make good grades. And let's have a great future. Come back to our country and make Ghana yeah. the better place in the world. Thank you. Stay blessed. You. Ciao. Thank Everybody, you. we love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Master, I said we all.